Hello, I'm Kitty Raptor, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. I just uh, had a very awkward night last night, um, but I became a legend with Greg and Angus, so my memory will live on forever. Let's see what the friends are up to. Hello, me. Pickaxe. Add it. Me. You know the drill. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Oh, Angus has a new message. Come pick your fight, give arrows flight. You mess with me, you mess with all of us. Going to see the Black Tones next week. Looks like he's going to a band performance. The Black Tones. So I gotta do some sleuthing with Angus, cause I already went and did sleuthing with everybody else. Gotta say hi to mom before I leave for the day. Good morning! There's my little sunshine, Daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? I'm sleeping a lot, but I'm feeling worse. Okay, well I'm gonna make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez mom, it's fine. It is very much not fine, hon. I am an adult. I can make that decision myself. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hon, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, mom, really. It was just a few bad dreams. I'm sure I'm fine. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. You know, ghost hunting stuff to do. No, ghost hunting stuff. I don't even know, honestly, but I know it involves ghosts. Oh, hon. Please take it easy. I will. I love you. I love you, too. Have fun reading your book. I think we have to go to that, uh, that one cliff point with Angus. It was like, uh... It's over by the church, that, that area. Oh no. What happened here? What do you want? <laughs> Just long, awkward silence. Hello to you too, May. I forgot what voice I gave her. What, what, what new voice should I give her? I know she's like a cop type and she's an aunt. Hmm. Sassy, probably. I wanted to let you know we ran a test on that arm you guys found a day, a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested is all. I'm definitely interested. I belong to a middle-aged man, a medium build. And he was dead when it was removed. Whoa, that means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. <laughs> okay, yeah, thanks. Thanks for keeping me in the loop, you know? All this ghost stuff. Seriously messed up. Ghost? I didn't say anything about a ghost, honey. Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. I know I saw a ghost. It was little Joe. Be careful, May. Strange stuff goes on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have, have a nice... Have a nice evening, May. I just woke up. It's evening already? Why didn't anybody wake me up? You take it easy, Aunt Molly. Selmers, I don't have time for your poems today. I got stuff to do. It's probably just another poem about his horse or something. Huh? What was that sound? Oh, the acorn. Acorn made a sound. I hope you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far. I know I am. Hasn't got a lo whole lot to it in terms of a game, but it is quite fun to see the interactions. Will tunnel fish be always there? Will tunnel drain canal be bare? I would miss the tunnel fish. 
to have them back would be my wish. Are they gonna drain? Are they gonna drain the tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen to me. I told you a thousand times. I just want to fish in peace. Oh, Grandma's not here today. Oh, I was hoping to talk to Grandma. I love these murals. Off to work. Work all day, work all day. We look so happy to go to work. Uh, Snack Falcon is Greg. And then the video two is where Angus is. And see if he's here. If he's not here, he's probably in the apartment. Oh, hey Angus, we gotta do sleuthing. So, I said I could, like, uh, take you up to the park. You did indeed. I am so tired. Are you gonna be okay? I know last night, f night was rough. I'm sorry about, um... You know, blaming you for everything. Yeah, I'll be fine. Are you up for this park trip? Oh uh, yeah, heck yeah, dude. Let's do this thing. Wow, B let you have the car two nights in a row? Yeah. She's really nice. She trusts me. Even after the flat tire? Well, I mean, I replaced it, so I don't see it's a problem. Well, I mean, you can't really do anything about that. And I replaced the tire, see? Oh yeah. So she knows I'm responsible to take care of the car because I replaced it with the flat, uh, the spare tire. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? You guys believe me, right? You guys saw it. Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. Good, solid evidence. Otherwise, it doesn't exist. I am a scientific man. I need evidence. What counts as evidence for a ghost? I mean, a ghost walking up and saying hello? I'll count that as evidence. I mean, come on. Have, have you ever heard of a ghost walking up to a camera and saying, hello? That doesn't happen. And me saying, hey, I verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Doesn't mean it's a ghost. I mean, you could verify that you saw a zombie. You know, the undead kind of ghost. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghostly stuff. Uh, ghostly stuff can be our podcast. We can make a podcast out of this. But I don't know how we'd record it because no one of us has a camera. And then the internet's kind of wonky here in Possum Springs. But we can do it. About ghosts. This episode of Ghostly Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. No, I'm gonna be sick. Don't we don't talk about Donut Wolf until a week after we had Donut Wolf. Sorry. Welcome to Ghostly Stuff. I'm May and I saw ghosts and this is Angus who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus and this is May. She's a crazy person. <laughs> I love their relationship. It's just kind of like a mutual, okay, you're cool. I can hang out with you. Nice evening. Yeah, it's all right. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once. Full speed. Knocked all my teeth out. That's why I don't smile anymore. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee because you know it knocked my teeth out and I had to go to the hospital get my teeth put back in I have wood teeth now posted do not feed or touch a wildlife I mean feeding or touching the wildlife I mean it, obviously yeah but I mean, if it prevents me from doing stuff in the future, that's pretty extreme. I don't know. You can't go to the woods to, like, socialize with the woods. I guess. But what if you wanted to socialize with the woods? Become a tree hugger. 
Hug some trees. There's some folks living in the cabins up here. You could, uh, feed and touch them if you want. I don't want to feed and touch cabin people. It's a weird old place up here, full of weird cabin people. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. Well, hit up my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy, busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. I mean, it's already evening, so. Can I read more, more stuff on here? No. Angus, you walk fast. Come on, bro. Where are we going? Okay, now you're walking slow. <laughs> Angus sidesteps. Look at he's just like square shouldered to the wall. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> what is he in marching band? Oh, Angus, you are such a character. <sighs> you alright? Hey, I got asthma is all. Sorry, you, you gotta wait for me. I'm gonna be caring about him. Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I save that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? Yeah, this is like a lime kiln, I think. Limes? You put limes in the kiln? You bake limes? Oh, limestone, okay. You like do something with it in there and it becomes this other thing. Oh, I don't know what a kiln is. I just wanted to know why it was called a lime kiln. But it's made of limestone? That's cool. Reminds me in Minecraft. Speaking of Minecraft, I'm going to be playing Minecraft on this channel. So subscribe and ring that bell if you want to see me play Minecraft. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons and sea creatures from millions of years ago. So like, this is all underwater or something at one point. Wow. I know, right? Like, right where we are standing, there were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. Fun fact, a whole of Midwest of the United States used to be completely submerged underwater and there used to be giant creepy sea monsters that used to swim all along that area. Like, you know where the Mississippi River- Ah! <laughs> where the Mississippi River is. That's where it used to be. That's why all that land is really fertile land and why Crops can be grown there is because that all that land used to be underwater back in the day. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Almost knocked my headphones off. I forgot I'm wearing wireless headphones. I have oh wired headphones. I have wireless headphones, but they don't work for recording for some reason. Oh, another lime kiln. <laughs> Whew. Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. It's good, it's good to get out and get some fresh air. No prob. <sighs> so, if this place is underwater, um... Why aren't there any, like, ancient shark bones up here? I'm sure there are, we just haven't dug for them. They're way, way underground, May. Where'd the water go? Hmm. Yeah, I kind of wonder. Where'd the water go? I don't know. To the ocean, I guess. They just ran off to the ocean. Well, and like the earth is always shifting, so mountains get all pushed up. Well, you should be just fun. Come on, May. You went to college. You should know this stuff. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. To think like that. To think like all oh, that crazy stuff is going on here? There's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. I'm just gonna check out this kiln and trees. You know I really en enjoy this adventure walk with you, Angus. I'm learning a lot about the world and stuff. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. <gasps> Sorry. <gasps> Seriously. It's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about like ancient sea creature rock or whatever. 
Lime, <laughs> stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I know. The good classes fill up fast, and then you have to take the stupid dumb classes. I bet. I agree, May. Dinosaurs are the most interesting. But. I do love dinosaurs. May thinks they're interesting. You knew they had feathers. Yes, I did. Or some of them. Most of them, actually. I know, right? Big, freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Yeah, whatever catastrophe happened wiped out everything bigger than a house cat. Basically. Time, dude. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. I think I can make it. I mean, th sometimes time makes things more dangerous because things evolve to survive better. You know? Like venomous snakes and things. Oh, it's suddenly dark out. Well, that was quite a hike. I was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count, man. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Wonder what happened to make it closed. Maybe it was the ghosts, Angus. You believe ghosts now? Ready to go? No, for now, just up ahead. Okay, this is not the place where I thought it was. I thought it was on the other cliff, but we're, we're at gravestones now? Yeah, these were... I forget. These were involved in the Possum Massacre. That, like, labor strike thing where it was, like, the Miners versus National Guard. Happened back in town, like, a hundred years ago. Oh, I remember reading about that at the library when I was doing my research about ghosts, Angus. Did you know there's ghosts in the, the papers? Yeah, the town believes there's ghosts, but you don't. Why are they up here and not, you know, where they were striking at? I think these were some of the bad guys and some of the miners didn't want them buried in town. Oh, well, well, I guess if you're a villain, you get put up by a, a hill that's hard to climb up. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. There's one there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. Yeah, just bones. Ancient shark bones and ghosts and dinosaurs. Yeah, see you nothing left to be scary. Angus, you know fun. Why does Greg like you? Probably for that ass, right? I mean, he did talk about your ass a lot. And can I not walk ahead of you? Wait. Is this where it is? Wow. We're up really high. Please don't push me, Angus. Please don't kill me. And really far out! I can see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So what, we're just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. You're the ghost expert here. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. I mean, last time with, with B, we went to the graveyard and we just waited around, see what happened and something happened, so let's do it again. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Well, yeah, they're really nice up here. I should knew the constellations like you did. Maybe if I went to go see the professor on that one night, I would know the constellations. But I forgot. But he, I saw him up there. I just couldn't get up to his house. What? 
you know, all the names and the stories and stuff. Well, I wish I can never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all like... Remember that time we were all at the... We were all at that longest night bonfire. And we spotted the constellations together. And you told us all about them. Oh, the longest night is like an extra thing I can play. If you guys want me to play the longest night, I will. Leave a comment down in the comments or like this video and I will play it. Because I'm interested in that. That's not a thing that happened. Oh wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember, remember now. Maybe Angus wasn't there. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. You're really good at that, May, coming up with stuff. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations. You let me... You tell me about them. Okay, then. Oh, we're gonna play some constellation game. Ah, oh, this is reminding me of Animal Crossing. <laughs> Alright. Find some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Okay, let's see. Do I get to make constellations? <gasps> oh, I do! Sweet. Um, I don't see much here. Um, there's a big M. Let's see. Oh, I see like a dinosaur head here. Oh, I have to hold it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, dang it. Come on. Draw it. Why won't you draw? Why? Okay, I see. I have to be like in the center of this to work. I do like the uh, the sound effects that it makes. Oh, this is so touchy! Why is this so touchy? Can I, n can I not connect two to one? Oh, this is lame. Well, this foils my plan. Ah, come on. Why can I not connect to you? Ah. Come on. Why won't you work? You guys see this, right? Am I doing something wrong here? Dang it. Ruined a beautiful moment. Oh, maybe I can only connect a few at a time. Okay. Well, I see a group here. <laughs> I don't know what I see anymore because it ruined it. I see like a dragon head here. Some sort of monster thing. And then this one is all like over here. It's just like a snake. Say it's a snake. Oh, okay, well, that's just a snake over there, then. How many constellations do I need to make? We all agree that that's a dinosaur. And then this is like a dragon thing. <laughs> I don't know how it looks like a dragon, but okay. And let's just do a triangle, huh? Happy stars, like Bob Ross. Oh, okay, I need to connect them. <laughs> okay, that's a bell. And in the middle of it is an eye looking at you. Okay, that's oh, uh, I know this one a little from like prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. That makes sense. It's gonna be really loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound usually. That sound... that sounds really scary for some reason. No sound in space. Well, at least it means we're not gonna 
get rung to death by a bell. True that, Angus. So I need to connect these. Whoops. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, at least it makes them for me so I don't look dumb. <laughs> it's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh... You remember those stories about the forest god? I do! I saw the forest god in my dreams! How did you know, Angus? My granddad used to tell... Ad... Ad... Adina? Adina... Stories. Whoever Adina is. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like, shiny things was good at getting through the forest. I was really good at stealing. Oh wow, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from the, a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough t that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. A ghost! That's called a ghost, Angus! Huh. Decent. Extremely decent. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's connect this one then. Oh. Is it a penguin? Oh. It's a pope! He breathes fire. It's the fire pope. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, uh, we never went there. Hmm. Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. Is longest night the, um, a winter solstice? I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. You were just there, May, the other week on Halloween. Don't lie. Does she mind? She pretends not to. Oh. May, does your mom not like working at the church? Ooh. I see this one over here. Let's make this a big long one. We gotta get this rolling. It's a boat. Oh, it's a whale! And it's got like the world on its back. Oh wow, that's sad. Why is it sad? He's got the whole world on his back. That's awesome, Angus. Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. Uh, I guess, but isn't it awesome? He has to have the whole world living on his back. That's pretty cool. That is legitimately upsetting. Angus, you're legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these things up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, Needs to be carrying something! I mean, they didn't know what the Earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. Oh, you could start! We're on a giant whale, Angus! We're like, way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. Mm, the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? No, don't believe in ghosts or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why is it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me. And didn't your dad like me? Like you. And my mom didn't either. And like, um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, Angus. I understand. It's okay. Let's just move on. Let's look at the stars. No, it's fine. Um, my dad. 
He used to hit me a lot. Aww. Angus. I'm sorry, Angus. And my mom was probably worse. She like, she wouldn't feed me. Which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> Aww, Angus, you like cooking? That's so sweet. You get to feed Greg in, in yourself. Aww. She'd like shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard. And all this all this stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know that all that. That's awful. Wait, if she shoved you in the pantry, couldn't she just eat the stuff in the pantry? She'd lock me in there for like a day at a time, I guess. Over night. So I like tried to develop psychic powers so I could like signal the neighbors or Unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I like started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like being abused? You thought you were the one that was doing bad things? Angus, it's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Your parents just did that to do that. That's not cool. Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Why do I ever? Question. Can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. And, uh, I still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. And my dad left, like, ten years ago. So, who knows where he is or even... Or even if he's still alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. I wouldn't want to know either, Angus. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. Huh. Well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah. Anyway. To your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet, and that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And they gave me something to solve, something you could debunk, or you know, I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can like make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts are God for me. So like, I feel like if I had been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Well, um... So, like, the constellations... I don't believe that there's a whale out there. But I, I believe that stars exist. And that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. Like, we're pattern finders and we'll find patterns. I'm gonna like really put our hearts and minds into it and even if we don't mean to so I believe in a universe that doesn't care and people who do Angus no way you won't believe this but I had a dream last night and the forest god told me that he said he told me the universe doesn't care pattern finders I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God but, like, God found them. Like, when they were having bad times like you did, God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. No God there, just me in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So, like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try, but I'm no more than anyone else. Aw, good talk, Angus. I wonder if we'll find something up here. Yup. Yup. I should come out here more often. <laughs> With me? Yeah, you should. Don't look at him, May. Oh, this took a dark turn. Oh! I'm spooked. My eyes start watering. My eyes are watering. 
Who? There's someone standing behind us in the trees. Oh, this is okay. Angus, do you believe in ghosts now? Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god. That's the ghost! I'm more worried about it being a living person standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there! Out for a hike? Angus, you're the bravest person I ever knew. Oh my goodness. You're crazy, Angus. Nice night, isn't it? He's not answering me. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! May no. I saw you! Okay, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma. Angus, please don't die. At least don't tell me Angus is gonna die. I got an inhaler. It's okay. I'm, I'll be okay, May. I got my inhaler. A good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Not even God. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Deep breaths. May, are you ready for a run sequence? Because I sure am. In, out. All right. Rah! You didn't suspect anything. What am I gonna start running? Uh, I'm not doing anything. The graves. Ah! It's after me. Oh no! <sighs> you okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So, that was it. That was the ghost. Or, <gasps> it was <gasps> some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went, we went to where you threw up. Ugh. That wasn't too far from there. Why does no b What? What? Is it making a flip? Ah! May? Ah! What's, what's wrong? Do you need me to pull over? Uh, my head. Jeez. Uh. Okay, let's get you home. This may have something wrong with her that I don't know about. No. Need to talk to everyone tonight. What? All of us. I need all of us. What? That was weird. That was weird. May, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. All except the thanks. So, like, do you have any idea what's going on, May? Well, I kn Angus can see it. It's just following me, I guess. Oh. I mean, I really have no idea. It's not none of the other two options. But there's a ghost, and it's after me. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening to you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? Like you have... Like you... You have like sudden stress migraines and you saw something that freaked you out. 
that makes you stress out. I get migraines, but not like you, May. And May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently, and I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, whatever. Angus saw it! Angus was out there with me when I saw it too. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. What? Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Nah, dude. Or ah, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even a go it's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Uh, thank you guys for believing in me. Mostly I just don't want you wandering up there alone at night. I mean you could I mean there's gangs up there, May. There's a Possum Springs gang, and I don't want you involved in that. Close enough. Alright. Let's hunt some ghosts. And we'll hunt ghosts. Oh, we'll just hunt ghosts now. What the heck? I'd hate to cut it here. Haven't been on haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. Alright, I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Angus is psychic, but he <laughs> Angus is ha Angus is psychic, but his hat blocks it. Pretty good theory there. No clues, but Angus saw him too. Alright, gang, let's go. I feel like we're nearing the end of this game here. How have I never been back up here? Fences work? Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. Hey Angus buddy, let's go. What is it B? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, well, let's go. What's wrong with praying, huh? Let people pray. Let people pray in peace. That guy's gonna get us. Also, where's that bird guy? That little bird guy that, like, to join us at band practice, you know? Wow. Maybe he's old. Oh, what if the bird guy is the is the person that's killing all these people? Gotta pull all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this back up here? All this mining stuff? I don't know. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Just like all this old old stuff out here, it's it's here every night when you go to sleep. So it's out here in the dark. So old. So old, so old, so old. I mean old stuff shouldn't be out here in the open. Dude, hey May. I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt, woo. Fun. May took a totally, like, 180 from herself. T total 180. What is... Is that a fire? I know it's not the sun rising, because Angus would be all like, Hey, I gotta get home, I have work. Um, guys, you're not gonna talk about the ominous red... 
Maybe the sun's coming up. What the? Huh? Oh my god. Is that a murder cult? No! No! Aw, oh, hell, he's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No, no, guys. Aw, oh, hell. Guys, guys, wait. Lerv, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew it the moment you screwed up this whole thing. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mis mistake. I I owned up I owned up to it. Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? Come on, one mistake. You lift a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Because you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. Well, what was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Ugh, his leg stuck. And it wasn't like you couldn't call, couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you'd call me, Lerv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, guys, we, we can figure something out here. Come on. Nothing to figure out. You're dead, Lerv. But, 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 but I got family. Lerv, don't ins insult us. We all got family here. We all got mothers and papas. You know, you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. I'll take care of them for you. You know what I mean? Wink. They will be completely taken care of. You know what I mean? They'll never want for nothing. He, he's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. All heal. D D Dave, Ricky, Benny, guys, you know me. All right, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know, we got no choice, and I ain't appreciate it if you stop saying, if you stop laying a guilt trip on us. N no, 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 no. Hold him still. No! Ah! Hold still. This will go easier if. Ah! Alright, he's free. Lerv? Ah! Lerv. Ain't hey, no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and. Ah! Aw, oh, hell, let's get this over with. Wish you'd just make this easy, Lerv. Oh god, his bone's sticking out. <gasps> the hell? Shit. Me? Me, Borowski? Run! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's the murder cult after me. Oh shit. It's the run sequence I've been waiting for. Run, jump! <laughs> oh no, how do I run faster? Jump. Oh jeez, how come I have to jump over rocks and they don't? Oh my god. Oh no. May, come on. Oh, jump like it's the only thing you do. <gasps> They're catching up to me. Oh! Oh my god. Whew, that was intense. Part four? The end of everything. Well, we reached the end. Did May get caught? What's he doing there? Oh, I guess he sometimes play, plays games with Greg, right? Nice. Nice. Yep. Dude, you're way better at this than I am. I'm not good. I'm not this good at, like, anything. I still play a lot. Got lots of old games at home. Collect them. Huh. I've never been over to your place. I don't take anyone there. Secret? I live in a tree. 
I had believed that. Where's where's my where's Angus? Okay, well. Oh, I'm playing Greg now. What? So is she dead? No idea. No response from her parents. Maybe they're at the hospital? She might be like brain dead or something. More, more so than usual. Dude! Sorry, that sounded funnier in my head. Jeez. I don't see the dude. He was outside my building last night. Wait. You call the cops? Because that's probably what you should have done. Yeah, I called. They sent someone by. He was gone. Also, it, it's not illegal to stand on the street. Yeah, but, I mean, it's illegal to kill someone. It's getting dark earlier. I wonder what game Dream is playing. Okay, so got brownies, got sodas. Hey, Captain. Hey, Bug. You making like three dinners at once? Brownies are in the oven. Thinking about making that lasagna, lasagna we got and forgot about. Uh, lasagna and brownies are a good combo. Everybody knows that. We have lasagna. Yeah, way back in the back. I thought that was all like the wall. No bits lasagna. Ian, you should maybe go to sleep or something. You've barely sat down in the past 24 hours. Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Also, I'm traumatized as shit. Someone's got to take care of you. Dude, let me take care of you. This, this stuff I'm doing, this helps me. Okay, that's cool. You do what makes you feel better, Angus. Are we gonna make it through this? We are gonna make it through this. Love ya. I love you. Hey, just wanna say, it was cool of you to go to Possum Jump with me. I know the scout camp isn't like the most fun place from when you were a kid. It's cool. It was like cathartic, cathartic, cathartic. Oh gosh, it's about a twung, tongue twister of a word that name, that word is. Nice. I need to defrost the lasagna. Or do I? Do you cook it frozen? I mean, it should stay on the package, right? Alright, good luck with that, Angus. I'm getting hungry. For some lasagna. Hey, Germ. I used to skate. I wasn't super good at it. I can skate! I'm a skater! Is it skate to create? I do what I like. I could use like five naps. Five good naps in one good nap bucket. Jump in. I forgot I'm not playing as me anymore. I need to do Greg's voice. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yup. Yup. Yes, sir. Wait, everybody shut up. I hear stippy steppies. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? B, did you not? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be quiet. Crap. What? Oh no. Oh no, May. <gasps> May, what happened? 
The end of everything. I don't like the sound of that title. Oh, boy. -o. May, you don't look too good. Reality got the best of her, I guess. Let's back up here. I can't go back up there. Am I in heaven now? May, is this another one of your weird dreams? I hope so. Where am I? I this nothing looks familiar. I'm on the outskirts of town. <gasps> Is that ash falling from the sky? Did everything get burned? Oh no. What did I do? I didn't actually want to set it on fire. Mm. Is it snowing? I hope it's snowing. That better be snow, not ash. Well... I'm nearing town, I think. Did no one, like, bother to make sure May was with them when they ran off? May? Someone help her! Someone help me. Jesus. Maybe I am in the hospital. Oh, goodness. God is here in this room. I believe that times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. <laughs> well... We're here. Maybe someone would like to say something about me. That'd be nice. Is she dead? Is she just laying on the pew dead? What? I'll say something. May Baruski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Dude, get out. There's the door. Get out. Well this way go get out you're not allowed here get out uh okay thank you william kind words i'll speak up go ahead may was the daughter to all of us on the block speak for yourself sometimes folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah. They were out in the woods that night. Down at the end of Center Avenue. And someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell in. She must have fallen off a million things and a million times. All it takes is landing in the wrong way. One time and... Oh. Well. I hope she wakes up and... Up soon and tells us all about it. If she remembers who done it. Hmm. I'm sure she... Oh, this is a trip. Oh, weird. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Not supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so she's gonna be fine for today, in least ways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. Goodbye, janitor. The house is gone. May. Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey. 
Everything. Ouch. Well, this got rough. Am I not in the hospital? My home? Uh. I should not be outside. I should, like, go inside. Should I go to my friend's house? But, I mean, I know. From being Greg, I know that someone's there at the door. Maybe the game will just do it for me. Uh, this way, I think. Maybe I was the person at the door. That door looks like I, it's meant to go through. Crap! Greg... Holy crap, May! It's May! Oh yeah, I figured. Holy shit, dude! I thought you were gonna be dead. Not yet. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling boozy, and also I think Ingus is making lasagna. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No. The sound is good. I don't like long periods of silence, so game's good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Like she didn't pass uh, pass out somewhere out there, or get kidnapped, or get jumped, or something else. See, I told you guys, gangs in Possum Springs do exist. Just happened that that was the uh, that was their ghosties, but but those weren't the ghosts that we saw all those other times. So it's still a mystery to be solved. I sure hope she's all right. Mm-hmm. Greg's voice and Germ's voice sound the same. I'm sorry. Both of you, shh. So, how do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, like twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now, since possibilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, bae. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure this delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan, it doesn't matter. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here! Oh, I'm hungry for pizza now, dang it. May, you hungry for pizza? Oh. So, what happened? He called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, I just took a very long nap. Nice. Ugh. Yeah, nice. I don't feel so good eating this pizza. I had this dream, or like a vision. Or I time traveled. I don't know. I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can he not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. May, you haven't eaten for like a whole week. You've only eaten pizza and donuts. Sorry, Mom. 
You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm gonna just sleep here. B is there. B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. Wow, this game has done a whole 360 of... I mean, not really, but... Jeez. May, if you never came back home, you wouldn't have experienced all this. You know that. You want a brownie? Oh. Thanks, buddy. I can't eat right now, really. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there, so I'd like to puke out my actual guts. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. Oh, poor May. How come no one else got hurt? Why is it just May? Hello, Greg. Dude, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I guess so. Not really. I was like really worried. You were correct to worry. It was bad. Yeah. Don't ever get seriously injured again, okay? What do you want, Germ? What even was that game? Werewolf. Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played this at Casey's house like years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. Well, everything is just so awkward now. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna like wander around your apartment. That's what it's here for! Okay. Guess I'll talk to Greg once I'm ready to go to bed. Hey, B. Well, I'm gonna talk to you. Is there a signal here? Wi Fi? Ah, uh, okay. I got like a mental, mental map of all this. Oh, sorry. I got like a mental map of all the Wi Fi spots in town. What is it with Possum Springs and no signal? Eh, out here in the hills, and we're not big enough to get towers. Or something. Huh. Hey. Yeah? If we're all still alive, or whatever, we should, like, maybe hang out more. I kinda thought you found me really annoying. Eh. I'll take it. Aw. We'll make it out of this, B. Don't you worry. I'm sure the police will figure it out. My aunt will be on it. Well, I think I talked to everyone, Greg. Let's go all go to bed. It's all hit the sack. Sure, dude. Hey! Everybody go to bed now. Holy crap. See y'all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos or follow me around. Oh, right. See ya. Bye, germ. But still, please be careful. Unless you are the actual villain. Hey. Hey, Greg. Hey, Wake. Yeah. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Back then you said you went all crazy, but, like, that's not real, really a reason, I guess. I was playing that game where you, like, date ghosts. I remember that one. Had a, had a hot skeleton. Alistair or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you were crushing hard on those dank bones. I was playing it, like, 24-7. Until this one afternoon, and suddenly, like, something broke. It was just, like, pixels. Your computer broke? 
No, like, reality broke. The characters on screen, like, it felt like I knew them. But they weren't people anymore, they were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed, never had any feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad, like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me, alone. And like that realization like dumped out and dumped out of the screen and like in the real life. Went outside and the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing, just a thing that was a there, growing and eating, and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by, and he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried, because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe, just dead. Dude, why didn't you tell me? I don't know. What could have I said? This all happened like the day before that softball game. I mean, I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was scared for you. When Andy stepped up, it was like... He was... And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there, and I was so scared and angry and just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with a bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. There wasn't that much blood. Oh god, I made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if he like wondered why, what he'd done. He probably was an asshole. Hmm. I don't know this guy, so he wouldn't be able to tell you. No, dude, I didn't know him. Neither did you. Well, then, you had to go to therapy. Yeah, Dr. Hank and his journaling. Oh, that explains the journal that May has, and she writes in it. Does that help with her anger issues and the shapes thing? Dr. Hank's messed up. One of my tooth fillings. Yeah, he's not good at what he does. Is he a doctor for everything? Like, he does like, psychology, he does dentistry, optometry. Wow. <laughs> no wonder he's not good at anything he does. Which, I guess, is understandable because he does, like, everything. <laughs> Called it. I didn't mean to ask you, did that journaling shit actually work? Kinda? Sorta? It helps me, like grab onto things and keep things in one, one place. Well, I mean, yeah, it's kind of why I have a sketchbook, is to keep all my ideas in one place so they don't float off into the abyss. But since that whole thing happened back then, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. Like, back at the softball game? I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers. Dude, listen, okay? Sorry, dude. I couldn't make friends, I was just afraid of being outside, or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder or something. A really shitty statue, like, all rusty metal. And it was all- it was- and it was these shapes, and he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared, I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat, or I ate an entire pizza at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude. And finally, I got up the courage to leave. And I came back home. Where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just dead shapes. Watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke in my head, in my life. You know what she's talking about? The shapes, the dead shapes? It kind of fits with the art style of this game. If you think about it, it's just these plain shapes everywhere. Something broke in my head, in my life. Dude, 
dude, you should have called me. We could have come rescued you. Would have, like, kidnapped you. I, like, couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't know why. I just... I didn't even come home for the longest night. I just stayed in my room. In bed. That's... That's horrible, dude. I... I thought when I came home, I just... I felt so safe there. Everything made sense for a few days. And then all this happened. And... 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 Dude. Dude. Shh. You're gonna be okay. I'm so scared, Greg. I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. I... Hopefully no one breaks into the apartment. May, don't you go wandering outside. May, don't do it. Bye, guys. Love you. What? May, what are you doing? What is she doing? Someone stop her. Someone stop this girl. Why? I, can I go home? May. I'm upset. What are you doing, May? You just... People rescued you. People went through the effort to rescue you and you're just gonna throw that away? To this fool? What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine, let's do this. Let's do what? <gasps> oh, shit! <laughs> that scared me! Greg. Nice shot. I wasn't aiming for his shoulder. Nah, you effing shot me! Hey, asshole, get away from her! Three of us, one of you. And none of us got bolts sticking out of us. I'm gonna bleep you! Yeesh. Ah. Uh. Oh! You okay, dude? Uh. Well, of course. Uh. Where did. Hey, you jerk! Why the hell are you out here by yourself? I had a dream you were all dead out here in the woods and it was because of me what does that even mean since when are you since when are your bad dreams in charge of me hmm I don't know anymore dude dude you don't get to do this okay I don't I don't get everything that's going on with you, and I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe you, okay? I do. But you don't get to die on me, and you're not gonna do that to me, okay? Okay. We've been best friends since forever. You big dumb idiot. And even if this was all somehow in your head, which it isn't, I can see it too, I would still back you to the actual God's honest end. Jeez, me too. Clearly, clearly we would all be. I just shot a dude for you, come on! And if we keep talking like this, I'm gonna cry and... Greg. <coughs> Thank you. Well, he's wounded. 
Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Y yeah. What do we do? Follow him, I guess. I, I don't really get an option. No, I have to go alone. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. Can he walk me? I, I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go die or something. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully let's not die, but maybe. Oh, are we actually going in the mine? The colt's in there. Gate's open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it or shut it or something. Ah, dang. You're right. No. I have to go down in there. Well, then... Looks like all of his friends are gone. Or maybe they're not. Maybe they're inside the cave. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang. Yeesh, I don't like this at all. Jeez, spooky. I don't think we get to complain about spooky. We left your precious robot boy out in the woods. That's spooky. Nah, dude, we created a legend. What are you two even talking about? It's been a weird few days. Mm, I think it's pretty spooky, actually. I mean, the whole mine could com could collapse and and you guys could die, or you guys could get black lung from being down here. That's pretty scary. Looks looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming from a mile away. You know what you could do, just. Slash the elevator rope and he can't come up. He's probably going to be stuck down there forever. Otherwise, if you go down there, if you go down there, he can destroy that elevator. Then he'd be trapped down there too. So, yeah, I don't think you should got, you should, I don't think you guys should go down there. At all. <laughs> this is spooky. We, you, we sure we want to do this? Yeah, May, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <coughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or already dead. I, I don't know what's going to happen down there. All right, then. May, you sure it's not just you messing with your head? Down we go together. Live together, die together. Oof, that thing looks old. And also, it's glowing red. Yikes. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? I don't like this. We have Possum Springs tour. We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop, and I get bored. This is in the brochure. That'd be awesome if that was in the brochure. 
well, here we are. <coughs> May, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like... It's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically, technically, you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. This is not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, we'll be silent terrors. We'll be ghosts. You guys hear someone crying? I hear someone crying. Hmm. Well, this is pretty neat. Is this in May's head? Is this what she's seeing? Hmm. Pretty cool. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. What if the giant cult is in there? You guys... Don't you guys think you should get the cops or something involved? Ay ay ay. This does not look good. Also, could have I gone the other way? Ah, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. Oh, you guys see that? That's a pentagram. Right there, smack dab in the center is a pentagram. And, like, junk. Oh god. Oh god. What? What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through here. Well, at least we're going the right way, I guess. Through that little tiny tunnel, eh? That's where it is? May, you sure you don't want to backtrack and head out of here? I mean, they could have taken the tunnel, the, the mine thing up and destroyed it. Uh, I don't like this. B, could you light another cigarette so we can use it as a lantern? I know you're in here. Say something. Oh. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Sh sh show yourself. Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. <gasps> I knew it! I knew the whole cult was down there. There they are. There they are. There. They're right there. Oh, wait. Is that that's the that's the ghosty thing? I'm gonna kill him. I'd y'all do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I say we're even. A little girl got shot out the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing. That was a bad call. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay? It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait. What the... Who are you? A bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. The... Then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. 
by family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors. Uh, okay, so we could just leave? Well, he, well, he brought you down here for a reason, and he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his way. Well, he's already got an arrow through his through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in whatever. Wait, so you think I'd... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. He's... I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've... I felt it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it? 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brattle. Vest. Sh Shmook Shmookar? Shum Shum Schumacher. Vest Schumacher. Last supervisor was out there when the company locked off the entrance. Carved his initials and date and the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole, copper. Abandoned chute, long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out of there, Sorry, came out of here. That old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or some or so, some men from West Mine came back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed busts through that wall and finds this place, and Jim walks right into that hole, and never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer, but someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl, in dreams and in waking dreams. So what brought you down here? So what does this have to do with you, me, or anyone? You got to understand, in those days it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations. Sending our jobs overseas. Spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants while we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. God damn it, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church, but when it's Scooter came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Answers? Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it, but he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? Once you take it a shine and two, it rubs off on you. You can do things. I've never seen it, but they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still, a few of us left from back then. Wait. 
First time? First one into the hole by our own hands. We owned up we own up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You throw them in the hole. They're feeding him. He is hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so he starts singing and it's someone's and it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules. We have rules that you don't break. And had to pay up. We threw him down. That was a hard thing to do. Hey, I think I'm gonna be sick. May, can you like just back up just a few little steps? Just boop boop. So you don't pass out into the hole? We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been? Oh god, oh no. How many people have died down here? Oh, I'd say three dozen, give or take. Thirty-nine? Am I the only one keeping steady count? I do now. Early on, I think we all wanted to forget. <gasps> Wait, I think maybe maybe that guy in like the the weird like whooshy thing, the one that with the looks like a headlamp, is that Casey? Did Casey run away to join this cult, or did he was he pushed down the pit to feed whatever's down there? Ooh. I do now. Early on, I think we all wanted to forget. I still got a feeling hard. It still hurts. Yeah, I, that dirtbag kid from the spring. C c I called it. C Casey. That Hartley kid, all he was gonna contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long. Before whatever sad end he'd wind up at, we did him a favor. Yeah, you kill kill Casey. Oh my God. We don't use our word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey! And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. What about your rule? You said you wouldn't kill anyone that wouldn't be missed. Casey was missed by all four of us and his parents and by the whole town. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. Oh. It's a draw. All right now, throw it down right now or I will shoot. Heh <laughs> What if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here. Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I, I, Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. 
You're monsters. None of this, none of this is happening. Uh. Oh boy. Now we're inside Maze Head. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that we lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided a f provided for family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're sit than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying. I mean, people die anyway. Houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just shapes. May, don't turn. May's falling. I'm going to die down here. May, don't fall into the hole. Someone grab this girl. Oh my god. Someone please hold on to her. Why are you telling all us all this? Because we're getting old. And even if the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood. To carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now financially? Like... Or is this some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane! Why shouldn't we just call the cops and say what? You saw some man you can't identify in an abandoned mine behind a locked gate and an elevator that won't run. That you saw a hole? Okay, fine. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. Kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So, uh, can we leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Who's talking? Oh, ain't fair they get to leave and probably get got permanent damage. Shut it, I... You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. I, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. S son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? 
Well, I could bullshit you, but the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> uh, I, I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. Oh man, okay. Angus, thank God you're carrying her. Oh no. Can you imagine if, like, she just fell down the well? My brain is in pieces right now. It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we going to do? We'll crack that one when we're far away from here. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Oh boy. Old, old stuff. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I... I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but like... They lost what they thought was gonna happen, which was what had happened like a long time ago, or how they remember, or like picture it, and things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harvest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yup, sorry. Why is Angus carrying her? Why not B or... Or Greg? Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... What? Oh, God! <gasps> oh, no! Oh, jeez. I'm not ready for this! Oh, my God. Oh, no! Get off of her! I knew this was gonna happen. <gasps> what the... Oh, I have... I have May. Oh, my God. Can you imagine if I didn't save May? What would have happened? <laughs> oh, no. Holy God. Is everyone okay? May! May! May, say something! <laughs> Why are we laughing? <laughs> Dude, it's okay now. We messed that guy up and he's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. So, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh. Let me rest. I feel air coming in from somewhere, so we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you- I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Yeah. Welcome back, May. Oh, sorry. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered again, which is weird. <coughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's charm. Guys, the air is coming from back here. All right, I'm up. You sure? I was like, you sure? Yeah, I think, I think so. It's boarded up. A long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's, let's get out of here. Can I eat not? Oh, there we go. Aw. <laughs> I like how B has a little, little crocodile paws. Yup, that's some fresh air, all right. <laughs> and water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Can river- Cave rivers are death traps. 
Mine, River. We're in a mine. Right. What about the other way? I mean, we, can't re we don't really have a choice or whatever. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the one foot of water. Right. But what about floods, though? Are you guys coming? Come on, I can't just be the only one in here. You guys. Oh my god, you guys, come on. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. And that's, that's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I come home, oh sorry, when I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Leaf, last leaf on the tree. Finally blowing off. I'm so scared all the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, and this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. I want to, and I want it to hurt because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. Whoa, May, I don't know what's wrong with you, but at least you can keep positive in a way. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May. Dude, you okay? Whoa. We got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No. I think I'm good. I'm just... Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's a light over here. Did you smell that? I bet he did. Uh, yikes. I get nervous when I can't see my friends. Is there sulfur down here? Fresh air? Was this a well? <gasps> Mom's story about the well! Got raised by eels! They threw him down a well, remember? Do you guys remember? The well boy? I'll show you. Oh, I can't. What is this? I have been a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. Hmm? Brochure. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! Could get Loki and someone's out here in the woods at night. I... I can try to make it out. No, I can, like... 
Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah? I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Dolphin hyper. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, uh, whoa, I almost died, and you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. I, I think you mean, um, adrenaline? Okay, I am seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Oh, <laughs> endorphins. Ah, uh, okay. There, thank you, those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up all the way out of here. Uh, that's assuming I can even do this. Well, we'll watch. Okay. No pressure. If I fall, will I actually die? This time around? Come on, May, you gotta make it out of this well. They're counting on you. Oh, this is actually pretty easy. I like the music, it's very cheerful. <laughs> Oh, it's this well that I saw in my dream. Oh, uh, oof. This place, huh? Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You were at the old, at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night, and also I think you're next. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? Hey, May? Yeah? What's that, Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <gasps> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Uh, oh. Anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Jim, can you like, uh, I don't know, seal this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. You can just get your hands on some dynamite. That's dynamite. <laughs> thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. Wow. Wowee. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. I'm sorry, he saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the death of, uh, like, a dozen guys. No, 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 there's still all life down there. How would you know? Oh god. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like, it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. I would have. Uh, what? They, like, killed people. They were, like, trying to... Get us to kill people. It was a murder cult. 
Screw them! I don't even believe in hell and I hope they go straight to it. Cheeky Angus. Well, that's what I think at least. Hmm. This is like that trolley thing. <gasps> oh, I know the trolley experiment! What trolley thing? Okay, okay. Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. I know the trolley thing. If you guys don't know the trolley dilemma, it's you have the trolley pulley and you can either um, save one person that you know or like save one person, I think, or um, I don't know what I'm off the top of my head though. The thing is, there's there's two tracks that split and diverge and you have the pulley that controls the trolley and then you have two options and the thing is if you actually go ahead and pull the lever um, then you actually are the cause of something happening but if you would just leave the lever where it is and let the trolley do its thing then you're just a bystander. It's bystander. It has to do with murder and all that stuff and moralities. Hey, uh, guys, are you there? Uh, anyone? I'm gonna go type away. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to, need to talk, even if you jerks are off doing whatever. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just, I just walked into all this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did. And I guess that's really scary, like, who knows what's gonna happen. But I guess you can, like, connect things, or connect to things. Sometimes you just need someone to be the thing you don't have. Even if it's something you're supposed to already have. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> LOL. Am I ever going to have a handle on what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's over. I want all of us to get free of it. I don't want us to be, to just be a part of some horrible story. I want to like, grow giant and pick all of you up and carry you someplace safe. Sorry, I'm all rambly now. I just gotta believe there's always an escape. Or at least, move on. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use messenger. I guess I'm just typing at wherever you're at. What's he doing out there? I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. I don't know if better friends exist. We're like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry if I caused drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you, Greg, as a gift. Remember to water and feed him. If you ever hurt him, I will kick your ass into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now, I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh shit. Hey, huh, guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. Is that it? Changing of the seasons. It's winter now, I guess. And if, if there's any more to this game, it'll have to wait until the next episode. This one kind of dragged on for a bit. I am sorry. I thought it was going to be the finale. But we'll see the conclusion in the final, hopefully final episode. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I did for sure. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.
拜。